Okay, this is Marie Gilmore reporting for Myers Free TV, and we're here at the Brandon Chamber Business Expo with Jill Ferguson. And we're here setting up our booths for the expo. We wanted to ask Jill, what makes a good business expo booth? Well, I think um, it's important to make it your own. When, they, when you come in, make sure you have really good signage for your company. You want to have a lot of uh, branded materials. Um, you also want to, when you come in, everybody's booth looks the same. It's got a table and the curtains and everything. But when you come in, it's, it, it's a good idea for the people who've moved their tables back so that people can come into their booth just as though they're coming into their business. Wonderful. And how many years has this expo been going on? For 23 years. And which committee at the chamber puts this on? Small Business Programming Committee. Well, wonderful. And how did you get involved with that committee? Well, I'm a small business owner, and um, I thought that would be the perfect committee for me for me to be a part of. Wonderful. And why should a small business get involved with putting up a booth here at the Expo? Well, I think it's a great way for them to bring attention to their business. We'll, we'll probably have over 2,000 people walk through here today, so it's a great advertising opportunity. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, and have fun at the Expo. Typically, when you arrive at an event to set up, you're going to be faced with a blank canvas, and it's all about what you do with that space. Your signage, your banners, your marketing materials, anything that can bring interest to your booth, get people to stop by, spend a minute, and learn about your business is what's going to make it a successful event for you and your business. Okay, here at the Brandon Business Expo, we ran across the Grillsmith booth, and we just had to stop by because it is so beautifully done. Tell me, what makes a successful booth? We have a custom-made booth, as you can see. We bring it everywhere we go. It's an indoor-outdoor tent. We also have custom-made balloons, and we bring some of our finest food out with us, like our lemon feta chicken, our chocolate decadence, and our salmon bruschetta. But as you can see by our booth and my team, everything looks great. And how important is it to have an appealing look so that people will stop by your booth and actually taste your food? We try to make our booth look like Grillsmith. We want to represent off-site what we do on-site. And so when people look at this, we think it's going to encourage them, if they haven't been to our restaurant, to come out and check us out live and in person. Excellent. And as far as events go, how is the Business Expo for you as an event? Awesome, because we get so many people that have never been to the Brandon Grillsmith location. They've never heard of us, and when they come here, they see that we are here representing Brandon, and then they come and visit us. So it's awesome. We give them coupons to come back. It's a great thing for us. Excellent. Well, this is one of the great booths here at the Brandon Business Expo, and there might be a few more. We're going to go check them out. Okay, wandering through the Brandon Business Expo, we found kind of a neat booth. And actually, from that plain booth we saw a little bit earlier, cleared out all the furniture. What makes a good booth for a business expo? What makes a good booth? Well, welcome to Extravaganza. We make good booths. Uh, I think what people have to remember is they always ask the question, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? And the first thing we ask people is, what do you want to get out of it? People don't remember what they hear, they remember what they feel. And at Extravaganza, we set the ambiance, we set the feeling to give you what you want. So, remember, it's what you feel. And this is just an excellent booth because it does invoke a feeling of relaxation. There's a TV, you've got a couch, you even put down a carpet on the floor. And what people have to realize is it's not the size of the event, it's what you put into it and what you want to get out of it. So we were at the Super Bowl this year because we do nationwide events all the time. And I said to the boss, why are you sitting there freezing your butt off at the Super Bowl? Don't get me wrong, Super Bowl gigs are great, but we should be doing more in Florida. I mean, there's so many events here. Florida is the best place to come when you're up north. So, And so you're here at the Business Expo to show the community what you can do for an event. Absolutely. Well, excellent booth, and congratulations. This is wonderful. Thank you. Nice to meet you. We're here at the Copper Bell Cafe booth with the owner, Darren Dennington. Darren, this is a clever booth. Tell me about what you've done here today to really maximize the exposure here at the Business Expo. Oh, wonderful. Thanks, Marie. Um, we're trying to attract a lot of attention and show what we do. So we're all about slow roasted, home cooking, and good flavor. So we've got our, our chef Holgren behind us setting up for a, a food demonstration. We're cooking summer bell pasta. So we've got demonstrations here and we've got a 18 foot buffet. So we're not just giving out samples of food. We're, we're feeding hopefully over a thousand people today. So. Excellent, and you've always done a clever booth at the Expo. What is a couple of tips you can give a small business owner on how to really make their booth interesting and dynamic and get people to come to it at an Expo like this? You've got to keep it simple and attention grabbing. You've got probably one and a half seconds when someone walks past 
for them to understand what you're doing and grab their attention enough. So in that second and a half with the demos, with fruit carvings, with hot food and, and friendly people, we've got a lot more coming out tonight also. So you've got a very short time. They, they need to know exactly what you're doing very quickly. Very good. Well, this is an excellent booth. I'll be coming back later to see that pasta getting made. Thank you. We're here with Sharon Silver at the Catering Company, and they have several interactive elements to their booth to get the people coming in and interacting. What, what have you got at your booth today? We have a margarita machine, strawberry margaritas. We also have a chocolate fountain, a photo opportunity, plus some sliders, mini hot dogs, chili dogs, all sorts of things, just to show people that we can do more than one type of event. So we wanted to kind of say we can do all different kinds of events. Well, excellent. And it's a fun booth. It's going to get people in. And how's, how important is it to get them into your booth when you're doing this kind right. of an event? That's why I pushed my tables back because I want them to walk into my food and talk with me instead of just by right past it, you know, that okay. way I can chat with them a little bit. Perfect. And how is this event for you, the catering company, every year you're here? It's great. This is our fourth year being here with the catering company and we've We've gotten a lot of response, just, um, if nothing else, just um, recognizing our logo and marketing it that way. So it's been good. Well, very good. This looks like a fun booth. I think everybody's going to stop by. We found the Embassy Suites booth here at the Business Expo, and it is really neat. Tell me, what do you have at your booth that's going to be really a big hit tonight? Well, it's a mashed potato martini bar with cheddar cheese, uh, chai, bacon, and sour cream. Well, excellent. What gave you the idea to do this at your booth today? Some creative. I do the glow bar here with it, and just just uh, something fun to do. Something that somebody will remember. That's right. It's very. I think it's very clever, and I think people will definitely remember your booth from your martini bar. Got a purple potato, so that's something different for them too. Oh, excellent! And how important is it to get people to stop and linger when you're at an expo like this? Um, it's real important. I mean, we got catering, we got the restaurant, we got off-premise catering, so this gives us a chance to talk to them and try our food. Excellent. Well, this is another one of the premium booths here at the Business Expo tonight and a couple more ideas for you to follow through on your own booths. This is not the best booth. They're not winning the best booth. <laughs>